Hello guys and welcome back to another video. It's the end of September, beginning of October. Winter is coming. Really excited for that because I hate warm weather. With a passion. I'm all here for the German cold windy winters and I'm loving it. So if you hear some noises outside, it's really windy today and I closed all the windows but we have a tree in front of our house so you can reel maybe the rustling, the bustling from the bird tree, so I can't do anything about that. But yeah, so we will do it like always. Talk about what I bought, what I will buy, what I got, and then random shit. And yeah, so I didn't buy, I, I, I didn't get many things this month. Um, more mainly full cards, but I will not show you that in the video because it would be too much of a hassle. So you can just watch the videos or wait until December where I show you all my photo cards or watch the old one back but a really really exciting thing came today so this is what came I hope it's in focus I forgot to mention I am filming on my camera that has no screen that I can flip up so I can see what I'm doing I have kind of struck a mirror behind my camera so I can see what I'm kind of doing but honestly I can't really see if I'm in focus or not so if I'm too much out of focus you will never see this video because I will do it again but if I maybe sometimes be out of focus please excuse that because I think this camera has no autofocus I tried my best but yeah so a lovely subscriber of mine wrote to me on Insta and was like hey I have this Jin Young card and I don't really need it do you want it I was like yeah I'm always there for Jin Young stuff <laughs> and uh, yeah so this is one of Jin Young's card from the star cards and I don't collect star cards because they're just too many, honestly. But I found it really cute that she uh, thought of me and that she wanted to gift me this one because um, obviously she could sell that, you know, make money and not like gift it to me, a person she has never seen or known. But she wrote a really lovely letter and she was like, hey, I'm really happy that Jin Young has found a new home. This is in German, I'm just translating it roughly. Uh, I hope he arrives safely at your house and um, yeah, have a good nice day. And her Instagram is spring now stay, spring now stay, hopefully I say it right. So if you want to see this lovely lady. So I was really excited about that because um, of course you never would expect like people want to send you their stuff. Obviously it's always really exciting because Jin Young, you know. <laughs> And yeah, but thank you again if you're watching. I really, really appreciate that. And I think it's really nice that you thought of me. <laughs> and yeah, the other thing that I got this month that wasn't planned, and I was really excited, were these lovely things. I will just spread them out so you can kind of see them. I hope it's kind of in focus. Yeah, it's kind of too big, but I try my best. So. Yeah, these are all my girl albums and I already own those, but the reason why I bought them was for the photo cards and I made a video about that as well. And these were only five euros. It's like unbelievable cheap just for simplifying. Just think about this five bucks, nothing, you know, these two albums, honestly, all of them out of press. These two are really hard to find. And one thing my friends are really lucky is that they get all the stuff that I find because um, I'm always like on the hunt for K-pop stuff and I find things for my friends that I normally wouldn't get. So my friend already called tips on those two albums. I will be selling them for her for like like five bucks each. Just what, what I paid, you know, just getting my money back. Don't want to like uh, make a profit of that. Just giving the joy to other people and these two I already want to sell. But yeah, I was really excited when I saw this because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity because these albums, Oh My Girl is not that known. And I see that mainly when I upload Oh My Girl videos because none of my subscribers want to watch them. But that's totally fine. Everybody has like uh, different preferences. And yeah, but I was really excited because I have a passion for them. And yeah, no. And I just paid 20 bucks for all four of them with all the photo cards. Normally I would like pay 20 bucks for two or three photo cards without albums so that's awesome and yeah really excited about that so we'll just let it stay here maybe I just check if the focus is in so focus is in and we will just stare at these lovely oh my girl stuff while I talk and 
Um, these are all the like physical things that I can show you that I got. But I also got some photo cards, got some spinning top cards, I got some summer store cards that I just unboxed recently. And yeah, I bought um, summer stuff stuff. So I bought <laughs> Taste 6's subunit album. It's on their way now with Lovely's album and some merch from the summer store I ordered together with my friends. And then I'm also still waiting on my Jin Young merch. And I don't know if you know the story, but I think I told it before, but I ordered through a group order in Malaysia. I've bought from her before and everything was fine. But because of COVID, Malaysia has closed their overseas post office. So she cannot send the package out to me. And it's been that, like that since August. And I honestly can I just can't wait on hoping that the post office will reopen again. And until then I don't have my merch and I really want it. <laughs> and yeah, that's that. So these two things I'm waiting for. My oh my my oh my girl US album, her um, solo album I bought. And I think that's it. And I'm planning on buying the new BTS album, but it's really expensive. Oh. Don't want to swear here, but <laughs> so on the in Zen market and not in Zen market on Neo Tokyo it's like 50 euros, and when you buy it from the WeWork store it's like 35 dollars plus plus shipping to Germany is like 60 65, it's so expensive so I'm kind of waiting on buying it, maybe some other group that I collect will come out with an album. Preferably got seven, but you know Mark just posted today on Twitter he was like. Guys, everything has a reason why it takes so long, so please be patient. So yeah, I'm patient, but it's kind of weird that everybody else getting like two or three comebacks and like God7 only had one this year. I know with COVID and stuff, but they're killing it on their own. JB has his uh, like exhibition, so maybe there's some merch. I don't know if I will be buying the merch, but if there's a photo book, I will be definitely buying that. And... Yeah, these are all the things that I can think think at the top of my head. Obviously, I want to finish spending top collection cards because I'm only missing like eight, five, six. I don't know. I don't have the correct um, number in my head. But yeah, this is all. Let's talk about my life. So it's been like a li almost a month since I started school. And honestly, it's kind of really hard getting back into a business because with uh, COVID and staying at home and you could do whatever you want and now I have like I go to a school three times three times of the week two days I go to my internship and then I work two times the, uh, the week and then I also have a life and then also my uh, therapy lessons that I have to attend that I want to attend so it's kind of really hard to like get back into shape and like survive on little to no sleep and just getting everything ready and just like doing stuff so I'm kind of getting better but I've been weak, like I've been um, sick like two times and I'm always when I'm stressed when I meet no people I always get sick so that's yeah hopefully getting that out of my system but in I think one week let me check my cell phone I think in one week we have uh, autumn, um, we have like holidays, two week holidays, or what you call it. And I think one or two weeks, hopefully one week. Yeah, only one week of school and then we have holidays. Oh my god, I'm so I need it. But I, I have to work in my internship and I have to work in my normal job one week. So I have one week holiday, but yeah, that's really needed. So yeah, that's why I kind of find it kind of hard to like film stuff and find time to edit. Filming, honestly, it's okay. I can put it, fit it in here and there and mainly I do it on the weekends. But for like editing, if it's not like a really simple video, I have so many videos pre-filmed that are kind of like more like harder. I think I still have my clean my K-pop shelf with me. I have filmed that a month ago, but I'm really, really like, I don't like to edit like big things so and then I don't have the time and I feel so exhausted all the time and I'm writing two tests next week and honestly uh, I have been I haven't been in school for three years because I finished my education and so I haven't I haven't really had to study for anything um, and in, in uni I didn't study because I, <laughs> I didn't check anything <laughs> so it was kind of larifari 
But now I have to study because I want to take it seriously, but I'm so overwhelmed. I'm like, where do I start? What do I learn? <laughs> yeah, still trying to figure out where to go, what to do. But I think I'm not the only one who feels like this. So yeah, this is that. So that's why I, I, I think I'm still like consistent with my upload schedule. I don't have like an upload schedule, but I try to like at least get out four videos a month. And yeah, but I have seen that um, my subscribers are not enjoying my content uh, as much as I do. And I think that's okay. Everybody has preferences. Maybe the YouTube algorithm is not like getting the videos out to people. I don't know, but I can't blame the algorithm. So, but honestly, I don't have the time to think about like new animated stuff because I'm so busy. And I always say if at least one person watches my videos, it's like, okay, and I have done it for this person and that's okay, even though I'm losing subscribers, but of course subscribers and numbers are nice, but I think that's not the most important thing because I do this for fun. This is mainly for me to see what I react to and if other people enjoy my videos as well, I'm really, really happy about that. Of course, sometimes you're like bummed and like, hey, I had so much fun doing this video, I worked so hard on it and Oh, they're not enjoying it so maybe next time I should like try something different and yeah but I'm not the most creative person out there so yeah <laughs> I thought about like expanding my content just not k-pop but maybe like more things that I do because this is just k-pop but I don't think people would enjoy it and yeah I have to see because <laughs> I suppose a TMI, but I really, really gotten myself into a little corner of YouTube about um, 18th century dressmaking. <laughs> I don't know how I ended there. So what do you need to know about me is I, like, re I really like history. I really liked it in school and I really enjoy it, no I enjoy it now. I like do watching documentaries and just learning new stuff that I didn't know before. And I was ill last week, so I was watching YouTube because what else can you do? <laughs> and I found this lady and was like, oh, this is cool. And now I bought uh, a pattern for a corset and I already printed that out and trying to make mock patterns and things. And I ordered uh, all the fabrics. So yeah, I'm always like, if I find a new hobby, I always go like 110% into it. And sometimes it's just too much for me, <laughs> but that's how I am. And I don't have the time to do it, but maybe in the future I still have to wait for it to arrive because it comes from the US. It's like the company's like called Red Threaded or stuff. So trying new territories. I can't sew at all, but you know, you never know. <laughs> I have sewn as a kid. I can stitch, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's the team I, but I'm really excited for that. Just finding new hobbies and stuff. And honestly, sometimes I wish like I had done this during COVID like the um, quarantine time because I had so much time back then I did things you know I passed my time but now that I don't have the time anymore I find so many new hobbies I want to try out and I can't because money and time but mostly time so you know that's that but yeah guys before I start rambling this is the end of the video and maybe I will make a video about like talking about analytics about my channel and just maybe asking you guys like maybe a survey what you enjoy and what you wish I would do differently or what content you like to see and and maybe this could help me or help you to that I make more better content and if not I will just try to do maybe new things I'm kind of stuck in my things that I do always and I think people don't find it interesting anymore and that's okay so yeah I have to see I always thought about like more doing more talking videos but do people want to hear my opinion? It, my I did a few videos where I taught you guys is my opinion and it, they went pretty well. So maybe I try that again and just chit chat with me and maybe do a mukbang, I don't know. But without showing my face. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I stopped rambling because I need to stop because otherwise this video will be too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy my content, please follow below, ring the bell icon so you know when I upload a video. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's linked down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!